10% of vacancies in central government jobs in Group C and 20% in Group D are reserved for ex-servicemen, for public sector banks, central public sector units and CAPFs, the reservation is 14.5% in Group C and 24.5% in Group D. But Directorate General Resettlement data show that states, central public sector units and central armed police forces have failed to recruit against the vacancies reserved for ex-servicemen. Only 2.4% of veterans who applied for a job could get one because of that. As of June last year, ex-servicemen constituted only 1.15% of the Group C strength and 0.3% of the Group D strength in 94 of the 170 CPSUs. Between 32 central ministries, only 1.60% 1 of the 22,168 positions reserved for veterans have been filled. The Indian Railways could only fill 1.4% of the positions reserved for retired armed forces personnel. A spokesperson for the Indian Railways has said that recruitment for around 24,242 vacancies of ex-servicemen was currently underway. For the 10 defence PSUs, where the centre has announced a 10% reservation for the Agnipat scheme, veterans comprised only 3.45% and 2.71% of Group C and Group D posts respectively. As of June 2021, only 0.62% of positions reserved for veterans have been filled by paramilitary forces, which are made up of the BSF, CRPF, ITBP, SSB and CISF. Meanwhile, the central government has announced that 10% of vacancies in CAPFs would be reserved for Agnivirs. By the end of 2020, Bihar, UP, Punjab and Haryana, which cumulatively account for 80% of the Indian Armed Forces, had given jobs to only 1.5% out of the 200,000 veterans who had registered for a job. Officials of state Senate boards say that while most states have reservations under the ex-servicemen quota for all positions, they are reluctant to recognize the graduation certificate issued by the military. Under the Agnipath Pravesh Yojana, young candidates will be recruited for four-year tenures of service in the military. As many as 46,000 Agnivirs are to be recruited this year. From each batch of Agnivirs, the government will retain the best. Up to 25% of each year's intake will be chosen to remain in service. The first thing the government should do is that uh, they must restart the process of recruitment which had been held up for last two and a half years. Those boys, it was not their fault and nobody even told them. So there was no, they, fe they are feeling uh, disillusioned, they are feeling there's a trust deficit, they feel they have not been dealt fairly. And there are boys, are youth. So restart that recruitment process, take those in whatever phase they were, even if you have to do retest and re-examine them, do that. And secondly, as far as this scheme is concerned, there are so many doubts in the minds of people who have to join and also otherwise uh, uh, in the society at large. I think it can be frozen for six months, send it to a parliament select committee or let it be debated among the veteran community, among the economists and by the citizens of this nation. And let us, uh, let us, you know, make it a better uh, scheme if that is that good and have a relook at the scheme. That's what I would say. While the government has announced reservations across sectors for the Agnivirs, the hiring trend of ex-servicemen in government sectors does not paint an optimistic picture. The morale of those who secure our borders is just as important as the weapons we arm them with. The government should consider the following question. If the Agnivirs find themselves worrying about an uncertain future, will that bode well for the defence of the realm? If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. Yaar. Mat pooch, yaar.
फिर से स्टॉक्स में फंस गया तो स्टॉक्स के साथ बॉन्ड्स इंश्योरेंस गोल्ड में बैलेंस कर इसमें बहुत तामचाम है तुझे फाइव पैसा नहीं पता अब तो सबको पता है फाइव पैसा है ऑल इन वन अकाउंट डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा ना अब तो सबको पता है Investing made easy and rewarding with Five Paisa. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.